everything nice and close to you. So then we open this up. There, all done. I could get him for another day at least. Now the question is, can I actually finish this as the last trip like I said I could? I hope so. Hmm. Right, right. So I've got a very simple plan of attack today. Empty that box into the Amazon bags and then I'm done. And the only reason why I'm emptying the box into the Amazon bags is because that box does not feel sturdy or stable. It's cardboard, it's gonna break. It's full of wires and stuff. So once I've done that, the rest of it is just to be picked up by a third party. I'm done. Apart from my shelving, but that means that that doesn't mean anything. I'm not worried about that. Worst case scenario about my shelving, I can just put it in the bin outside. So once I've done that, we should be, should be done. Should be done. Time to crack on. So in here, there's like computer leads, Xbox leads, controllers and things like that for the consoles that I've got. So I want to bring them. So there we go, there's tons of stuff like controllers, leads, connectivity leads, Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, just loads of it. And I need it. So I'm in the final stages of closing a deal on a new car. So I want to get some of this shelving stuff down, the rubbish stuff basically out today while my car is still a shed and not worry about scuffing up the new one too much because I use my car at the minute like an absolute flatbed truck. I just chuck it all in, don't care about the seats getting ripped, don't care about the exterior. Obviously I'm getting a new car, so I'm gonna to wanna to look after it. Finance, of course, I'm not a billionaire. And buying a relatively new car outright is a stupid thing to do anyway. But that's not why I'm not buying one. If I had the cash, I probably would, because it's FU money, innit? I just can't afford to pay 14 grand, whatever it is, straight up for a car. So I wanna get a lot of the dog work and donkey work done today, because that's now me done. Couple of little bits over there, but they'll probably go into this box. Then that's me done regarding taking things home stock-wise. The rest of it is just shelving, like I said. And worst case scenario, worst case if I really have to, put that straight into the bit of bin outside. I don't want to do that. There's like five shelves, two tables, but. Yeah, so that's that side of it. Done, so I was correct. One trip. While I'm here, I might as well take that last shelf down, just, just get it going. Done, easy peasy. Oh, do you know what? My guy said that I need to shave my head and just, just to embrace it. Man, it's not that bad yet, man. My corners are going. Yeah, but my top's not. Oh, I just got receding hairline. I'm an old man. Got years before I got to shave it off yet, my bro. Before I shave it, I think I'll do it. I'll go to Turks first anyway. Turkey, turkey. Oh, I almost left behind. Let's open these windows for the first time, I don't know, ever since I've been here. Oh, that's what natural sunlight looks like. Incredible. <laughs> So open. 
Can't get to that one. Yeah, man, I'm not shaving my head yet, bro. I don't know if without realising it, I'm looking like I care about the way that it sits and stuff or whatever, or hiding it or something, but that's what your comment said, and I'm not. If I was worried about people seeing my receding hairline, I wouldn't wear the hair the way that I do, with all the little spits sprouting out, and I'm not, I'm not that... <laughs> look, I love you all, but I'm not that bothered about what you think I look like, so I'm not just not... I'm not asked. I want to look good, I want to look pretty and handsome. But I'm not doing it for you guys, unfortunately. But I appreciate what you say, and you are a handsome bastard. You look great, bald. You got a lovely, round, smooth head. I just don't think I've got that in me yet. I've got, I've got probably another three years. <laughs> So even though I've got one last payment of 555 to pay, I'm not going to be here. That comes out in two weeks. Once I'm done, which is on the 30th, I'll get my 555 deposit back, plus two weeks worth of time that I'm not going to be spending here because I'm paying on the 15th. I've got to be out by the 30th, which means I'm only here for like two weeks out of that. So I'll get those refunded as well. So I should get about seven, 800 quid back once I leave here. So I'm leaving it in better condition than when I left it. There's marks and stuff on the walls, but there always was. I mean, I'll happily come in here with a bit of magnolia and touch it up if that's what they want, want from me. No problem. Look at all them. Jesus, wept. Ugh. Fuck it. I'm gonna save myself a job and get another table down, I think. And that's what I'm gonna do. These tables are well heavy duty as well. I say well heavy duty, I mean, for what they are. How thick this borders. Oof. Where can I stack it? Here. Oh god. Let's yeah, stack it there. Grim down there. Down there. Grim. All right, well, I absolutely love that for me. I've only got one table left to take down. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, I need that vacuum to hurry up and charge. I wonder if it's charged enough yet. Just whip up some of this at least. Oh, there's that old... Yeah. I think that means there's a problem for us. They call that booing or cooing. I oh, know, but now it's working. It's obviously, it's obviously a blockage. Yeah, there we go. I think there was a blockage somewhere. Fuck you, yeah, I'm gonna take that table down as well. Get it done. It's done then, isn't it? Lovely, done. I was correct, one last trip. The shelving doesn't count, the shelving's not important. The shelving's gonna go in the loft. As far as the garage stuff and the business, done. Everything's done. This is all being picked up by a third party. Whew. So that will be gone. And then it's just my shelving and some rubbish. Rubbish will go in the bin, shelving will go in the loft. <sighs> right, let's go home and pack some stuff. You can actually see it in there now. Now that's it now for the business. We've got no more stress of bringing anything back. Anything is done. Like I said, the rest of it, attic or bin. 
or just all in the bin if I really have to. I won't have to do that, but I can. Got a few sales to get out now. Got a few shout outs to mention as well. This car has done me so well, but I honestly can't wait to get rid of it. Because I never know if today's going to be the day that it doesn't start on me. It was just here that I cracked my brake light as well. Right in this parking spot. Let me go and check the bins. I need cardboard and I want to see what the state of it's like for potential dumping. There's only three there today, that's weird. And they're quite full. Okay, so I'm going to scrap the cardboard off. And I'm going to have to time the dumping really well because I don't know when they're going to get emptied. I don't want to bring all the stuff down. I have to put it in my car. Do you know what I mean? I want to just put it straight in the bin. That's for me to worry about, not you. We are back and we're going to go through some orders that we have going out today. So let's just get straight into it. Box F. And box H. First off, we're going to get through the vintage stuff. Little bundle now for £4.75 is a game of roast, brand new and sealed, and a Nintendo Switch controller thing. £4.75 all in. Amy, massively thank you for that. You left a little message saying you watched the channel. I appreciate your purchases. I'm still waiting for it to jam, to be honest. Hasn't happened yet. Box A. So for four pound on Vinted, we've sold the Pokemon Pokeball plush. I told you that'd go quite quickly. I think it was 50p. I was using it at a car boot sale as a way to bring the average spend of the day down. So three pounds 50 pure profit on that one. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it all adds up. If I was selling three or four, four pound items a day, there'd be a problem, but I'm not. And it's bringing the cost of everything else. This was the day that I bought all those bowls. I've sold like two sets of bowls for like 300 pound for the pair. 119 and 130 so 250 sorry i just can't try and i'm just trying to explain that when you're car booting if you can grab a few low value fast selling items price them competitively and get them gone if you spend 80 pound on the day after selling this you've only spent 76 pounds 50 and you do that with a few items and then the big ticket ones pile in life's a dream i know what i mean most of you will know what i mean basically just don't be opposed to low value stuff no way you're putting it i would never have put that on ebay for four pounds never 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 i had a place in mind for it when i bought it and i knew what it would do now i say no fees because it's vinted jesus christ there's a fucking chin across the outside i say no fees because it's vinted but i still pay tax on it you know they're still taxed and they're, they're still tax and cog it's taken to play completely missed it in ah i've sold that from yesterday's video so from yesterday's video the vans chore jacket the beige jacket 13 pound on vinted quick seller i paid 30 pound for a big bundle of stuff i've got almost 50 percent of my stuff back 45 44 percent of my cost price is back in this one jacket i could have held out i could have pushed for more but i'm bringing that money back in i want to be in profitsville not a fan of break even bill little bit dusty definitely not a fan of negative equity bill let's get out of that place move alongside even stevens and break into profitville baby and the best thing about it pre-packed I used to put all my clothing into clear plastic bags. Now all I do is put them in these, write down what it is that's on it, and then I can just grab out and it's ready to it's ready to go. Just making my life a little bit easier. And I think that might be it for all my orders on there. Got a few people trying to lowball me on the Adidas jacket and things like that. I'm happy to hold out for that. It's worth good money. I've listed it cheap. Right, that's that one done. Let's get into the eBay stuff. I'm also going to pick a winner in a moment on one of those shoe tree and ruler bundles. We'll pick a winner on this video and then a winner on the next video for the second bundle. Right, how many of those do I need? Sold a few of these now. We've got one going out for $6.99. These are the LED drivers. Everybody knows about these. And I've got four going out for 16 quid. He sent me an offer. I was like, yeah, sound. It's about 18 quid off nearly, but we don't care. And these are the hardest things to pack in the world. It's just like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? Waiting for this car to be delivered as well is an absolute nightmare. It's going to take three days from now. And as most of you will know, Emma knows especially, I can't wait. If I want something, I know something's happening. I want it now. Now, now, now. I'm a little brat. 
but it's not. It's part of the uh, it's part of the spicy brain condition. Can't be waiting for things. Ah, oh, fuck. Print another one. I still, like I said, I still, I still don't believe I'm going to get this car until I get it. I didn't know if my credit was good enough for a car finance. I don't really know how it will work, to be fair. So I just did a soft apply and he went, yeah, man. So I was like, what? And I obviously went through with it. I paid the deposit. The geezers told me it's uh, done. It's dusted. Everything's all good. Pick it up on Wednesday. So we'll see. It's not a fancy car. It's a Grand Landex. It's not a fancy car. But it's just reliable. Uh, right, next sale. Finally sold these now for £8.95. It's those IKEA things that I think I paid £1.54 from a charity shop months ago when I went around and said, charity shops are shit. And everyone went, oh, they're not there for you. Shut up. I made about £4 profit. So I'm annoyed because the smallest box I've got, apart from that one, which is tiny, is this. And that's just a waste. But I have got a kite packaging delivery coming today with some boxes that should be just slightly under this for things like that to go and three rolls of bubble wrap you wait until it arrives it, it arrives looking like a fucking i don't know i don't know it looks like something's falling off a spaceship because it comes in three rolls all together like a big tube wrapped in plastic and just dump it on my driveway <laughs> looks like nasa's lost a boost engine if there really is such thing as a nasa boost engine what a waste of a box so that Ryobi drill battery, remember the one I showed you that I sold for thirty nine ninety nine the other week? Had it returned. Apparently it's not charging properly. Oh well, these things happen. As soon as I saw it said on its way back, I just refunded him. Some of you will think that's crazy, but I was going to refund him regardless. I can't sell a broken battery. So it doesn't matter if he sends back the battery or a piece of poo, but he actually sent back the battery. So that was nice of him. I'm loving the printer. Link is in the description down below for the printer as always. Right, that's all that's got to go out, but I've still got another 13 to post. So I might get a few of those easy ones out of the way. So it's a whole lot to work. Harry Potter book, that's easy. Box A. So it's going to be one of these. No. Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, hardback book, sold for £26.39. It's probably a mega rare one with crazy spelling errors and stuff that's worth 40 grand but owes me about a quid so i'm all right i'm gonna give it one of these boxes because i've got a funny feeling it's gonna be perfect fit for that it is orgasmic obviously i'm gonna pad it but look at that that's me all giddy I've chose this box because it's thick, corrugated, like that hard card, not the soft card. It's not double wall, it just has more rigidity. So that box going GSP to Italy. That fucking alarm, what time is it? Who sets an alarm for 11.14? For a start, right, let's get those packed up. I've already told you about it. So yeah, four for sixteen pounds. So I've got listed for six ninety nine. His offer basically means four pound each. No problem, son. When I first got these listings, I took I took loads to the car boots. I had to clear them out like a pound each, and I sold a load to my mate who bought a load, and that was a stupid idea because he put them all on eBay for like ten, twelve quid. So I couldn't sell mine. I waited till he sold his through, and now mine are listed for seven quid. He still owes me a tenner, actually. That's a good point. I need to sort these golf clubs out, man. For the mighty price of ten pound now, a bundle of three vintage little people. Easy pack that is. Bubble mailer. I'm actually running out of bubble mailers. I wish Tima would reach out for another sponsorship deal. I was going to have to go and buy some, but they're cheap enough anyway. It's like 10 quid for 100 or something like that. Cheap. I don't think they'll give me another sponsorship deal though, because I was a bit of a princess with the last instructions. They told me to move stuff around and make the advert here, there and there. And I said, 
but the way you're telling me to do it, customers are not engaged. You know, the viewers are not going to care. It's going to be too forced Addy. And she was like, okay, on this occasion, we're going to let it go, blah, blah, blah. Not heard from them since. I will stick to most outlines of an advert, but when you're asking me to do dumb shit, which my viewers would be like, the fuck? Well, that's not Ricky. And I won't do it. I'll just say no. Stuff your fucking advert. Well, I've sold two of these now. That's more like it. Two of these brackets, the Hikvision brackets. I've got them listed for, I think, 13 quid each or something. They sent me an offer of £12 each for two. So 24 quid. We'll take it. They can go in a box. So things like the LED drivers and the CCTV brackets, anything that you think may be used by somebody in a trade, and it's probably going to be used for a job, obviously you're not obligated to. You're only obligated to ship within your designated shipping times. But if you can, anything like that, try and ship it out as fast as you can. Because if there is somebody waiting on a job for it, they're going to massively appreciate it when that lands way before the estimated delivery. And they might come back for another purchase. Yeah, I think we'll do that one. That one's nice and easy. I'm just picking easy ones. Bad habit, but oh well. I'm the boss. Uh, Panasonic phone base, 9.99. Phone base with power lead and phone cord. I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna box it. I'm gonna box it. I'm gonna box it. I wish my other boxes would come in perfect sizes. So my estimated delivery time today for my kite packaging supply is between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. <laughs> Luckily, they do now just dump it on the drive. Like I said, they never used to. I spoke to him. I thought that was them then. I spoke to him last time and said, it's okay, do it. But I don't have anywhere to go today, which is great. I've been to the unit. I've cleared the last bit of stuff back that needs to come back. I've taken all the shelves down. That's it. I'm here. I'm picking my orders. My orders are going to be packed. Then I'm going to edit this video down and hopefully get out tonight. Hopefully. So uh, I don't need to go anywhere today. I've been to both of the car garages in my local area and asked if they're buying secondhand cars at the moment. One of them said no. One of them said yes but i'll give you scrap value for it i said no problem mate so i shall try selling it private for a couple of weeks and he said worst case scenario if you can't sell it come back and you get the scrap value for it and i don't mind that i don't care he'll sell it for 9.95 he's got off a warranty and all that kind of stuff and the car is tatty like the interior lights being wedged back in there's a crack in the brake light the front bumper the front bonnet is absolutely scratched to hell i used to i, I used to use it for cutting boxes on Paintwork all around is scratched and tatty. There's cigarette burns, not from me, on the inside of the passenger seat. There's just marks all over the upholstery. All of the air fans, you know, with all the, you know where you push the air through? Well, they're on like little slats, and that's where I put my phone holder on. I've broken them all off. Everything's broken off. Um, but the engine sound. Yeah. So do you remember those plates? That I picked up and said, I don't know why I bought them. I was just on a buying spree. I just bought them. I thought they were cool and reasonably priced. Uh, they've sold. Paid £3 for the pair. And they have sold for a grand total of £18 plus postage. £2.99. It's not bad, is it? That was the day that I bought the bowls as well. It's a fly in here. I'm going to save packing that one properly till later because I need to get a bit of cardboard that's at the back. I can't get it right yet. Well, I can. But I'm going to be able to clear some space by packing some of this other stuff with these boxes. So what have I got that can go in these boxes? Nothing. Oh, that's sold. Again. So the day that I bought the... So I bought this. What else did I buy? Oh, all those CDs and some else. I can't remember. A hat. I can't remember. But that was like £1.50. I said it'll go for a tenner and I'll make some money. I'll make four or five quid. Sold for £11 and four pence. Repeat buyer, repeat buyer. If this was you, reach out. If you're just a repeat buyer on eBay, then you're probably not going to see this. But I've mentioned before, if you're buying things from me because you're supporting me and you want the item as well, uh, let me know. Let me know. Which reminds me, while I'm sat here editing the video right now as we speak, a big shout out to Magpies and Rabbits. You purchased that ruler from me and you didn't use the notes section. But I believe it's your other half has saved the day and dived in and let me know who you are, why you purchased it and your social name. So Magpies and Rabbits on Instagram and I believe eBay as well. Big up, thank you so much for your purchase. That's a cool little ruler, man. And hopefully it's arrived now because there was a little bit of an issue with delivery. Appreciate you. They should be easy to pack. 
10 pounds these are pioneer speaker grills so they go on a speaker and they're just the grill for it that's it simple simple dimple 10 pound i think that's all the packet i'm gonna do so shall we pick a winner for one of those little shoe tree bundle things whatever they are shoe trees and ruler we'll post the video into the comment picker fetch it and i think i need keyword filter and your i'm just gonna put your videos because people went on your videos make me your videos feel your videos this and ever so your videos should should bring it up 137 comments 137 entrants so good luck one of these boxes will be on its way to you today and the winner is flat tool flat tool 1439 your videos make me cry tears of joy big up thank you so much inbox me on instagram or email me that's in there as well for anybody who doesn't have instagram and uh we'll get one on the way to you mate so yeah it's not gonna be on its way to you today because i need your address cheers then bye so there we go that'll do won't it we've had a bit of an update and we've seen some sales and we've picked a winner thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind liking the video on the way out and check to see if you are subscribed or not i'm trying to push this channel i love you take care bye